Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In JavaScript, a node list is simply an array of nodes similar to an array of HTML elements. You can use the getElementsByTagName method to return a node list. When attempting to find certain nodes in your HTML document, it is important to remember to use the index number of your nodes to ensure the proper return value. Also remember that in JavaScript all index numbers start at zero. You can also use the length property to define the number of nodes in a node list. You can loop through a node list using the length property in a loop. The following sample code uses getElementsByTagName to list all of the paragraph tags. The document.write statement is set to display the term, the inner HTML of the second paragraph is, colon, and sets x to have an index number of 1 to signify the second paragraph. So we start with the paragraph tag. This is the first paragraph and has an index number of 0 the close paragraph tag. Open paragraph tag. The second paragraph has an index number of 1 exclamation point. Close paragraph tag. Script tag. x equals document dot get elements by tag name parenthesis quote p close quote close parenthesis semicolon. Document dot write parenthesis quote the inner HTML of the second paragraph is colon space close quote plus x bracket one close bracket dot inner HTML close parenthesis semicolon and finally the close script tag. When executed the browser would display the above code as this is the first paragraph and has an index of zero the second paragraph has an index of 1, and the inner HTML of the second paragraph is the second paragraph has an index of 1. The second example will show how to use the length property to display a node list output. This example shows a for loop that will return all three paragraph nodes and will output the text value of each with an extra line break in between. We have paragraph tag, first paragraph of the day, period, close paragraph tag. Paragraph, second paragraph of this example, exclamation point, and the close paragraph tag. Paragraph tag, this example shows how to loop through the length property, exclamation point, close paragraph tag. Script tag x equals document dot get elements by tag name parenthesis quote p close quote close parenthesis semicolon for parenthesis i equals zero semicolon i is less than x dot length semicolon i plus plus in the close parenthesis curly bracket document dot write parenthesis x bracket i close bracket dot inner html close parenthesis semicolon document dot write parenthesis quote line break tag close quote close parenthesis semicolon and the close curly bracket and finally the close script tag after the execution of the above code the browser should display first paragraph of the day second paragraph of this example and this example shows how to loop through the length property followed by first paragraph of the day an extra line break second paragraph of this example another line break and then this example shows how to loop through the length property like what you see Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.